Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to part three of our EX12B Wiki pages, and we're still working on the Meet the Team page. It's our second page in our redesigned site that we're working on. And here we have we have an index HTML. We just have to have to mention. Now I had some of this done for you, so you didn't have to think about that too much. But there is a link here to Meet.html, Y.html. They actually have IDs here hours contact us so you got to be careful what those pages are so there are links in here already to these pages so if you named it something else you would have had to update this link um, so we're we have that done so our index page is okay now we have our, our meet page where we basically updated um, what we did in terms of content we updated most of the information that's in the article ID now in the article we changed the ID to be meet so it could be different than the home page one and there may be ones that are different than you know they might have other different headings and content that are in them that's why we use specific IDs for spe specific pages we still have the same structure we have a container we have articles so everything's gonna function the same way it's just there's gonna be different IDs and we'll have a couple different styles in there and we actually made a couple new styles right after all the article that's why I like to put the the first name kind of article in front of it even though you don't have to you know that way I know these are all part of the article um, section so they're just different IDs for the same article so I like having that full name in there it kind of stands out to me um, and yes you can have multiple CSS files as well but for now we're keeping it all in one CSS file um, the less calls you have to multiple files the, the more efficient the page works and we don't have a lot here so this isn't a this isn't a gigantic CSS file but we do have all these new articles stuff here and I'm trying to keep them in order as best I can so I'm still keeping all the article um, IDs and declarations all together now one thing since we did all this we have to check and I'll go back because um, I'm sure it won't work we have to make sure everything's um, works okay this way too and you can see what happens down the bottom everything still looks okay um, it's bumping that down which tells me there's there's some problem there because remember at the 870 breakpoint it should it should actually go to um, you know like 30 percent so once it gets to that breakpoint it's bumping so it's not it's not doing that 870 breakpoint and then at the end you know it's doing this here so there's you can see what's happening there's a problem with the float this is overlapping over top of that nav side altogether so that's what happens with the float so there's some problems here that are you know that we'll have to fix and they'll be easy to find if we go to our CSS and just look at our look at our declarations we'll see that we don't have anything referencing the the article with the ID of meat so I'm gonna go down and look at our first one which is the 870 and right where it has article homepage now you don't want to change that to meet because you still want it to reference homepage and you, you could do this you could copy and paste this and make another one from meet or you can do this you can also I'm just gonna copy and put it right in here now I think you can just do the ID I think you could just do this do a comma and then do pound sign meet and what that should do it's gonna do article homepage and the ID of meet it's going to do both of these when you use a comma it means it's including all of those as part of the declaration whereas when you use a space that means it's basically the the element that's contained in the previous one or the child of the parent so this basically means an additional one they're both going to use this um, declaration that's down here they're both going to have that so whether it's article homepage or article meet they'll both be 58 percent nav side isn't going to change so we could do the same thing down here article homepage this is where the float um, goes to float none and the width becomes a hundred percent which didn't happen on the one we were just looking at that's why the the nav and the article kind of overlapped each other so we're just gonna put a comma and put the ID name of meat and that should target both of them and I don't think there's anything else we have to do it's just a little bit we're just adding on to that and keep in mind if you have IDs you know we might have IDs for um, article you know testimonials article contact we, we may not have them for all of them we may be able to use some of these over um, and, and again there's there's different workflows that you could do you could have some that just say article without any ideas so that it's it, it basically encompasses anything that's in an article and we didn't do that yet we're, we were very specific but also if we had one for article testimonials when you go down here when you get to your media queries you could basically just put comma and pound sign test testimonials or however you're gonna do that you know so that it would just adjust every article because basically these pages are set up almost like a template kind of setup so that um, the only thing changing is what the, the content that's going in this article everything else is basically the shell that's being repeated which makes it a little easier for designing 
uh, designing our pages. So, and we also just want to make sure that we can click back to the home page and get to the home page and then click meet the team and get back to the here as well. And then also make sure we, we our links work and make sure we scroll down. There's our top and then that's jumping back up. And you can see you could drop a top up at the very top, but I just put it right, right up here. Um, so any of these we can just click up. So our our IDs, our anchor links are working and you know again just to review how the anchor links look they're basically just providing an ID. You could do a separate one with an A with an A tag or we can put, just put the the ID right in with some of these elements that exist and that's kinda of what we did. Um, and then we just link them just like we'd link anything else except in, instead of linking to a page we're just linking to an ID. Um, this pound sign we're just linking to an ID here and that's what it's jumping to. So it's staying right on the page and when you see that, when you see it in your URL, you'll actually see it up here. It's, it'll say it's going to the same page with and more specifically to the ID of a top. So that's the way it's setting up. So everything's working in here. So we're gonna we're gonna let you work on that page and finish that up and then we'll move on to the next page. I'm not sure how much time we'll have here in the end, end of the semester. If we have to skip one of these, we might move, move on, but we'll get as much as we can done, um, get done while we do this and you can see that the process is going to be just copying pages and s swapping out the information for article and just putting in some new styles and just pasting in content so these will have a little bit different content the hours to contact us will be a little different but but let's uh let's get the uh, meet the team finished up and then we'll move on